All right, hello, so I'll be solving insert interval and um, we can just like get the logic from the examples. So basically we want to overlap a new interval. If there's an interval in this array, in this list that can overlap with this array. So words are confusing. Let's go with example. Let's say one and two is here. Okay, and four and eight is like here. Okay, it's x is one, two, four, eight. Now this is not overlapping at all. So what would be the condition to add that to our list? So if our starting index, so uh, let's call intervals dot length as length. And while length doesn't exceed, oh, we have to have a pointer by the way, and i is zero. And as long as we don't, we don't exceed our array and the condition to add just a non-overlapping array. So there's two cases, one that's um, way before our new interval and one that's way higher than our new interval like 12 and 16. But first, let's consider this case. So for anything, so for any interval where the end ending index is smaller than our new interval starting index, then we know that our um, this interval is not overlapping at all. So we just uh, add that to our list, uh, intervals i. And very important, we have to increment i. Each time we add or update, we have to increment our i++. Okay, so one and two is, okay, that, that case is done. What if our um, intervals overlapping? So maybe three and five. So let's say three and five is here and four and eight is like here. Okay. So once we pass this while loop, we know that our interval is overlapping, right? Because this condition is to filter out the intervals that are not overlapping. So if this while loop finishes, then we know that it's going to overlap with the new interval. So what's the condition? Same. We're going to check if our length doesn't exceed and the so three and five is here and let's say six and um, six and seven is inside let's say like eight and ten is like here okay so if a new if a incoming interval starting index is less than the end index of the new interval then that's when we stop this while loop and not update our new interval so 8 and 10 borderline um, meeting the new interval because let's let's say this is 3 and 5 and this is, uh, what was it, 4 and 8, okay? Now we know this is overlapping, so we have to update our new interval to a bigger interval. So in, um, we update the starting index of the new interval as the minimum of the incoming interval starting index and its own starting index. So actually it's gonna be like oh sorry like this and it will be updated to three so it will take the minimum of itself starting index and um, the incoming starting index same we're going to take the maximum for the ending index Makes sense, right? 
pi plus plus. So 3 and 10, 6 and 7 is inside this new interval, so we don't really have to update it. And it will not be updated, we'll just increment the pointer. And let's say we have a 8 and a 10. We want to have merge overlapping, wait, uh, so it's borderline meeting the overlapping rate. So 8 and 8 is same. So if you can see, it's, update, it's updated to 3 and 10. So actually, it's going to be updated to 3, comma, 10, like this. So the ending condition would be if our new, uh, if, if our new intervals ending index so before it was 3 comma 8, right? It's, uh, wait, uh, this is the valid condition that we have to put. So it's greater or equal to the incoming intervals starting index, I mean, the ending index of the new interval, it was 3, 8, right? is greater or equal to the incoming interval starting index then we do this so for example it was 3 and 5 and 4 comma 8 right so let's see if this condition is valid and we like whenever you're doing a question you have to verify your logic if it's if it's um, making sense or not so new intervals and in index is 8 8 is greater than 3. So okay, we update our new interval, 3 comma 8. Uh, and we check 6 and 7. 8 is greater or equal to 6. So okay, that's overlapping. 8 is greater or equal to 8. So we still can do that. So we update our new interval. Now, when 12 and 16 comes here, we can't update our new interval because this is way outside our, what do you call it, um, new interval. So that's when we cut this while loop. Okay, and for the rest of the, rest of this like, intervals that are way outside our new interval we just do plus plus oh wait and when this while loop is done our new interval is updated and finalized so we have to add that finalized interval to our to our list and my bad i we didn't declare the list a list will contain an integer array like this and I don't know if it's just me but I find like converting list to array and array and to list is very confusing so yeah you have to practice a bit mm -hmm. and list dot add new and oh no new int intervals i by the way the order doesn't matter i plus plus can be before or after because it's post increment so i will only i's value will only increase by one when um after this while loop is executed once so that's done return this dot to array and we're gonna create a list dot size like this <clears throat> oh we have to comment this out uh
Wait. Yeah, I plus plus will keep on running. <gasps> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm actually wrong about the post increment. So I thought post increment will work after this, but actually, <laughs> sorry, I'm not gonna edit this out because. So if I plus plus is before this, so like, like uh, this, then we're gonna add the next interval. But what you have to do is add that interval first and then increment our pointer. Oh, I thought oh, I have to revise my post and pre-increment. But okay, that's it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.